To all I love, Joshua, I am dead. To all I love... Tell the others that for seven days there will be none to drink. But this well has never run dry. The river's high. What does it mean? Whose word is that? One who knows? Go fill your jars or go thirsty. Miriam is always right. Yes, I'm going back for more jars. No water for seven days. Yes, Joshua. She comes to the well every day. Wait and you will see her. It is wise of Dathan to send you to the well, Lilia. Or he might find his water poison. They told me you were dead. To all I love, Joshua, I am dead. Dathan? Yes, Dathan. Of your own free will? My own free will. You are no man's slave. The hour of deliverance has come. Not for me, Joshua. Hail to thee, great God of the Nile, thy life-giving waters of the blood of Egypt. Hail to thee, maker of barley, feeder of cattle, carrier of ships, praise of all the gods. Pharaoh of Egypt, you have not yet obeyed the Lord. Let my people go. The point of a sword shall Let him endure. rave on that men shall know him mad. Obey the Lord, or he will raise his hand against the waters of the river. I have come to bless the waters. You have come to curse them. You will learn if a god of shepherds is stronger than the gods of Pharaoh. Water of life, give drink to the desert. And make green the meadow. Aaron, stretch out my staff against the waters. It bleeds. The water turns to blood. Blood flows from the gods. See how it spreads. It is blood. That you may know the power of the Lord. For seven days, Egypt will thirst. Seven days without water will fill every jug and jar. Pestilence will be everywhere. For it's seven times seven days. No magician's trick will set your people free. Sacred water, make pure the flood from which you came. God smote the land with all manner of plagues, but still Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Great one, you hear the cry of Egypt. They would cry louder if they had to make the bricks. Send them away. The people have been plagued by thirst. They've been plagued by frogs. By lice, by flies, by sickness, by boils, they can endure no more. Why do you bring this worker of evil before me? The people desert the temples. They turn from the gods. What gods? You prophets and priests made the gods that you may prey upon the fears of men. When the Nile ran red, I too was afraid. Until word came of a mountain beyond the cataracts, which spewed red mud and poisoned the water. Was it the staff I gave you that caused all this? Was it the wonder of your God that fish should die and frogs should leave the waters? Was it the miracle that flies and lice should bloat upon their carrion and spread disease in both man and beast? These things were ordered by themselves.